there. How could there be so many deadly lightning strikes in one country in just a matter of days? It is the deforestation to make farmland that has been blamed for many years of this. The trees should be the tallest object in a forest. Well, if you cut those tall things down, the tallest person or thing in a farm field is the person standing there farming. So there have been big storms over the area the past couple of days. Now, just in general, there should be 20 to 30 strikes per year for every kilometer, 20 to 30 for just a square kilometer in this area. This is kind of a lightning capital of the area. And we've seen this for year after year. Look at the lightning deaths in 2012. 319 people died in Bangladesh alone from lightning strikes. Last year, 274. So this is unusual for just a three day period, but not unusual for Bangladesh. If you have trees, the trees collect the lightning. It's the highest object. That's where the lightning wants to strike. The leader strike, the return stroke from the trees rather than the person down at the surface. So you cut the trees down and you become the highest thing out there. In general, you have a 1 in 12,000 chance of being struck by lightning. Now, I kind of find that disturbing because that doesn't seem like a high enough chance. I would like one in a million chance. And honestly, it is one in a million if you are inside a home. If you're outside and not paying attention, that's where the strikes occur. 95% to 90% though of the people do survive a lightning strike, especially if someone's there to restart your heart. If you're all by yourself, your heart stops because of the jolt of lightning, then you're gonna be done. Five deaths so far this year in the US.